Hello and welcome Wordle lovers. Today I'm going to show you how to be a power user of Wordle, specifically using Wordle Advanced in a spreadsheet so that you can give Wordle more flexibility and power. If we come to the home page of Wordle.net and we click on Advanced, you'll see two boxes here with examples of how you can enter your data to make Wordle uh, perform the format is a word, a colon, and then a waiting number. Normally this would be your word frequency, but when you're using Wordle Advanced you can type whatever number you would like in here. A couple other things that are interesting about Wordle Advanced is you can type in a phrase, you can use a question mark, you can use uh, symbols that you wouldn't normally be able to use in regular Wordle. If you want to, use, to assign colors as well as weights, you would use this bottom box, the second box, excuse me, and you would enter your word, a colon, the, the frequency you're waiting, another colon, and the hexadecimal code for the color. And I'll show you a little bit more about that later. If you have something short, it's uh, no big deal to uh, type in to Wordle Advanced and let it run, but I've created a spreadsheet to make this even easier for you. I've loaded it onto Google Docs so that everyone can get to it. When you come to this, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to File, Make a Copy, because the original is not editable. But once you make a copy, you can edit and put your own words into it. So what this does is, with a, a word or phrase here, a frequency in the B column, and a color in the C column, it's concatenated in column D or put together in the format that Wordle Advanced needs. Now you'll see that I've added the tilde characters here. It turns out that you don't need this for Wordle Advanced. You only need it for regular Wordle, but I didn't know that until I started making this video, so I'm just going to leave it there. It's easier than trying to clean up the formula. It doesn't hurt anything, but you don't absolutely have to have it. So if we were going to type in some words, we could do that and if we don't put a weighting or frequency here, then the spreadsheet defaults to 1. If we do put a, a number there, then Wordle uses that. And if we leave the color blank, then it, do, it just doesn't put anything there. And since I'm not going to use colors on this first one, I'm going to take the color data out of that as well. So I can put symbols I can also put the same word again so that Wordle will use it more than once in the word cloud. When you're using normal Wordle, you can only put the same word or phrase one time and then it's larger or smaller based on the frequency. But when you're using Wordle Advanced, all those rules go away and you can use repeated words if you want them to re repeat more than once. You want them to show more than once, not just larger. So what we would do here once we typed in all the words we wanted and their frequencies is we would copy this, highlight it, and use Control C or Command C depending on what kind of computer you have. And then we would go back to Wordle Advanced. We would click in that first box because we're not using colors, control V to paste or command V and then click on go and you'll see that Wordle will make our word cloud to those specifications. So this is nonsense but I just wanted to show you a few, uh, a small one so you get the idea there um, that you can use the punctuation marks and you can have the word more than once and so on. But a lot of times what we want to do is we don't want to type in those words one by one. We want to analyze or feed in a document that already exists just like we do in, in uh, standard Wordle. So I have a, a text file here prepared that is Genesis chapter 1 of the Bible. I copy it. I'm going to go to the top box in Wordle Create and Control V to paste it. 
and then I'm going to click go. Now, when I go under language and all the way down to show word counts, then Wordle's going to give me another window that is basically a concordance that gives me every word and the frequency. So I can click on this and do a command A to select all or control A and then uh, a control C to copy click done I can go back to my spreadsheet and click in the first column the first box box A1 and then do a control V to paste now you do need to do a control V or command V to paste um, for whatever reason the edit uh, copy and paste in this menu or the Firefox me or your browser menu didn't, doesn't work or didn't for me. So you'll see here that pasting the data in just as it came out of standard Wordle then column D will calculate what it needs to look like to go into Wordle Advanced by adding the, the colons. These numbers are the verse numbers. They're going to be a problem because they have colons in them. They're also going to be a problem because we don't want numbers. So we would go through and edit then this this column as as we want. And we would just go through, uh, remove the numbers, remove words we didn't want to appear. We could reweight numbers we wanted to be um, more pronounced. That sort of thing. So we would do that however we want. And then when we're ready to, to go back to Wordle Advance, we would again select part of it, do a control C to copy, go back to Wordle Advanced, and control V to paste, and click go. And there you see that we would have more editing capability than we had before. Okay, I want to show you the color real quick and I'm just about out of time. So I've cleared the spreadsheet, I've typed in my words, red, blue, and pink, given them frequencies, and now I want to put a color in this column C. So all I did was do a search on hex color codes and find a nice chart. Here's one, it gives the colors with uh, a sample so you can see what they look like. What you're looking for is this six digit code here for bright red it's going to be FF and followed by four zeros. So I'm going to copy that and put it in this column. Then I'm going to go back to my color codes, pick up uh, this one for magenta, a nice hot pink, copy that, paste it over here where I want my word to be pink, and one more. I'm going to find a blue. There's a good blue, neon blue. And go back to my spreadsheet and paste in the code for blue. Now, when I copy this, these three, another tip if you just click this whole column, then you can copy the whole column together. That's another option that makes you quicker on this procedure when you're using uh, large word counts. Alright, so now we just need to go back to Wordle Advanced and this time we're going to use the bottom box because we have colors and we're going to paste our words from column D that are all formatted properly and click Go and you'll see that Wordle uses the proper colors that we've designated. So that's just another way you can use it, Wordle Advanced to your advantage. Hope you enjoy this and thank you very much for joining me.